number 10 this week in the top 10 is none other than Hot Bruno. Why 900 Hot Bruno? Jim, do you have a question for Hot Bruno? <laughs> Yo, Bruno, Bruno, how did you get your hair to become so curly in the, in the late 70s when it was so straight in the 60s? I'll tell you. And there's your answer. I'll tell you. Well, do, do you have a favorite Bruno wig? There's the mop top and then there's the uh. Luau Sindor. No, I liked good old, just a regular old fashioned Bruno from, you know, when he had his 60s classic look. I was not a fan of the perm and stuff. <laughs> what wrestler successfully rocked the perm? You know, if people, do, I guess he'll probably n never come on our show or let me be on his now, but Jerry Lawler had a perm for one week. Yeah, and in 79. In, in 1979, for when he appeared on TV one time. And it was such a fucking bad, and, and no goatee at the same time. And it was such a shock to everybody's system. And it was such a bad idea that the next week, Lawler's hair was straighter than a goddamn ruler. And it, and, and it was short and it was straight. And it stayed that way for about six weeks till he'd grown up. Because he had beautiful, full, luxurious hair. But this made him look so flat because it was so straight because they had to take that perm out. Yeah, that was the most ill-advised hairstyle change ever. Me and Bolin uh, guffaw about it to this day. <laughs> You're right. I mean, I'd seen the tape because that tape exists. I never realized it was only the one week. <laughs> that, was, that was the that was the week of the that was the Freebirds debut, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the think, summer yes, of seventy nine. Yes. yes, it was because he got it was, yes, it oh yes, it was bad. Yeah, it was real bad. Were you in the studio for that? Was that yes, yes? That was the WFIA convention that year, wasn't it? Yes. And as a matter of fact, I think, as a matter of fact, now that I remember, I believe that between Saturday morning TV and Monday night matches at the Coliseum, that perm was gone. <laughs> Cause I, yes, as a matter of fact, because I have pictures that I took of the match that night because Lawler and Dundee against the Freebirds, and he already had that straight, miserable, and made his hair look like a giant, or head rather, look like a giant beach ball because it was short and just so straight, had no fluff to it. <laughs> just plastered that oh it was it was like seinfeld when he had the shower in the bad fucking <laughs> low flow well you're right you know the perm is bad enough but him doing the perm and also having no facial hair was the biggest mistake his career he looked like he looked like buddy wayne suddenly <laughs> just, <it> just <laughs> <laughs> i knew you were there because i remember uh one of the after mags or maybe i should call them the weston mags to be honest but one of those magazines maybe pro wrestling illustrated at some point had a picture of the free birds versus Lawler and dundee in the studio and it said this photo was taken by a young jim Cornette." and i was like oh wow that's so cool I, and actually by that point i was even middle-aged so it was even more complimentary <laughs> well Lawler had the perm of course harley race decided to get a perm at some point another mysterious decision boy that was rough too yeah and then sweet hands saw that and said hey me too well he looked it, it actually looked good on him as 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 rodney would say it it looked good on him because i when you have a face that looks like it was set on fire and put out with a fire axe you know you got <laughs> limited fucking options good god his face looked like one of those topographical maps of the fucking Grand Canyon. <laughs> you see, when Bruno lost the wig, I, he never lost the wig. It was never like a wig versus wig match with Kowalski <laughs> or anything. But when he got rid of the wig and he came back in 84, he looked good. Like he was, he looked like Bruno. He just looked like an older Bruno. I just, I, I never can get these guys who get the wig on their head. Like him and Kowalski have a match at the garden and you're watching them work, and it's just you're watching this ridiculous hair <laughs> on both of these guys. Oh, God. Tom Burke hey. told the story on the show a while back that he was at a uh, Kowalski indie show in, I guess, the early 80s. And he went there with Wild Bull Curry, who hadn't seen Walter Kowalski in a while. And the first thing Bull Curry says when he goes in there is like, Walter, what is that thing on your head? <laughs> That's number 10, Hot Bruno. Why 900 Hot Bruno? I'll tell you.